Welcome back everyone. All this week we are sharing details about different community events aimed at helping families in need for Thanksgiving. There's a group in the Midlands that is helping, well really year round. Children's Charities of the Midlands holds different events every year to raise money that goes to help different charities in the area. Their next fundraiser is this Saturday, a Turkey Trot 5K and One Mile Family Fun Run. Samantha Hammond is the race director. She is with Village Green Race Series, and Gary Matthews is the CEO of Children's Charities of the Midlands. So glad to have both of you with us. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank Thanks. you for having us. Good to have you here, Sam. You haven't been part of the show before. Gary, you have, talking about Children's mm -hmm. Charities of the Midlands. You have different events that you guys do. In fact, if we could show some of that video, to show how involved you guys are. Tell us about what Children's Charities of the Midlands is. Sure, what we, what we do is we hold a series of events that um, supports the nonprofits in the community that have a focus on bettering the welfare of kids in need. So, um, you know, we started out years ago as a polar bear plunge team, the Chip and Wales polar bear plunge team, and it's just Which grown is, into so is, much more. Look at that picture. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if that doesn't yeah. scream polar plunge, right? Yeah, it's, it's grown into so much more, but we've had people, you know, like Sam that have branched out. You know, you've had Big Earn on the show right. talking about the cornhole tournament. Sam's doing the race series. We have other people that have done their own little things. Uh, you know, and I love how this was kind of birthed from the Lake Carolina community, which is, you know, Columbia address, but kind of Blythewood side of town. And you guys have chosen now a race to be the next way and people will just make a donation. Tell us about the race and the course and what people will see when they're doing the turkey trot. Absolutely. So the Village Green Race Series holds four races a year. And Gary, because of our neighborhood community and our philanthropic spirit, was actually helping me volunteer at our last race for St. Patrick's Day. And him and I were chatting at the finish line as people were crossing the finish line and getting their medals. And we're like, wow, there's over 50 runners out here. If everyone donated an entry fee, think about the impact that we could have for children's charities to kind of start the season of giving off prior mm. to jumping in the freezing lake of Lake Carolina. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of how the idea was born from a free race series to the turkey trot. And so the turkey trot is the only race of our four that does have an entry fee. It's 100% of the proceeds will go to children's charities. Which I think is so fantastic. In fact, these are some of the things that you'll receive. You'll get, I love the finisher's medal. Yeah, everyone will get that finisher's medal <laughs> yes. as they cross the finish line as a yes. part of their race donation. And then your shirt and is adorable. And for an extra $20 donation, you can get this shirt to commemorate your finish line, which awesome. a lot of runners really love that. And this is nifty. Yeah, so our top three finishers of all of our different divisions, age dependent based on the final signups will receive this beautiful polar thermos engraved nice. you know runners like to keep hydrated yes, yes. Um, we'll also have a spirit and costume winner a lot of our neighbors or participants have started wearing costumes at our races since they're all holiday themed oh how fun and so we can't wait to see all the turkeys out there and see what they end up dressing That's up that's adorable as. Donnie, the, the cool thing too is a hundred percent when she said a hundred percent goes to the charity uh, United Real, United um, Real Estate mm -hmm. donated the shirts. Oh, nice. We've got Double Tap wood, Woodworking that actually did the printing on them and, and mm -hmm. did the engraving on the cups, too. So, so when you say 100% goes, yeah. you I really mean, mean 100%. Yeah, that, that's that's rare, out. and that's, that's really commendable. What are some of the charities that benefit? Just name a few of them. Who sure. Um, Unum donated. Center, which is previously known as the uh, Autism Academy. Mm -hmm. We've helped Vitality SC's Medical Equipment Library, Limitless Purpose, Family Connections, uh, the Children's Hospital, a um, couple different camps that are out there that uh, bring yes. underprivileged kids into the camps and fantastic. anything to make uh, you know, a child's day better. Well, and I know you'll have the polar plunge coming up in January, mm -hmm. so will you guys come back, come back on the Love show to, to talk Love about that? To. And I know you've been willing to wrap in, or jump into that cold water. Take a look at the screen here. The Turkey Trot 5K this Saturday is at 9 a.m. The one mile race will immediately follow. They ask for the $25 donation for the 5K and a $15 donation for the one miler. And as Sam said, 100% of all proceeds will be donated. Go to my Facebook page. I'll have this link to the interview and the information on there for you as well. Samantha, Gary, two different organizations, one purpose, one neighborhood coming together, but involving a lot of people from different neighborhoods. You guys have a great thing going here. Thanks. It's exciting. I hope, we, it's, I hope it goes well. Thanks. We hope to see you at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like liking the shirt already.